Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. One of the big advantages of using virtual machines is the ability to migrate a virtual machine from one host to another very easily. So let's take server 04 for example. It's running on PHX ESXi 01. What about if I want to migrate that over to PHX ESXi 02? Well, it's actually, it's really easy. And at this stage, when we're talking about migrating virtual machines, we're talking about migrating them when the power is off. So when they're powered off, when we talk about vMotion and storage vMotion, things like that, we're going to be talking about migrating virtual machines when they're powered on. So right now the virtual machines are powered off. I'm going to right click on server 04 and click on migrate. So when it's powered off, we have multiple options here. We can just change the host if we'd like. We can change the data store that it's on. So if I go back here right now, this one's on data store shared 01. Maybe I want to move it over to shared 02. Well, I can do that very easily by migrating it. Or if I right click, go to migrate, I can do both. I can change the host and the data store if I'd like at the same time. So I'm going to do both just so we can see how it looks. I'll go ahead and click next. So right now this was on PHX ESXi 01. So I want to migrate it over to 02. So I'm just going to select it. It's going to validate it. If you've got things like a, a CD-ROM that's mounted on your virtual machine that is the ISO image is on a local data store, maybe of ESXi01. It's going to give you a, a warning here or an error letting you know that, hey, I can't really migrate this because there's a resource that it's using that's local to ESXi01. You either need to change that or not migrate it. So in that example that I gave, we would just need to unmount that ISO image and then we would be able to migrate it very easily. But everything looks good, so my validation succeeded. I'll go ahead and click Next. And up here under Select a Virtual Disk Format, we haven't gotten into this too much, but we can actually change the disk format during the migration if we'd like. Maybe it's currently uh, thick provisioned. Well, we can change it to thin provisioned during the migration. So it's also a very easy way to change your disk format. So I'm going to leave it the same format as source. So however it is now, it's going to keep it that way. But just know that we do have the option to change it. And notice I can migrate this not only to a shared data store, but to a local data store. I'm going to keep it on a shared data store. It's on shared 01 right now. I'm going to migrate it over to shared 02. And we get the validation down here if it succeeded or not. Notice if I go up here, if I try to migrate to local 01, it lets me know that that doesn't have enough disk space on the data store, so it couldn't do that. If I go up to local 02, it could. And I'm going to do it to shared 02, so that succeeded as well. So I'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. The migration is going to be comp or going to be processed. Now it's important to know that if we're migrating uh, data stores, then it's going to take however long it takes to transfer all the data over. So if the VMDKs, the virtual disks, are quite large, then it's going to take a while to migrate it over. If they're small, it's probably going to go fairly quickly. If it's on a shared data store and you're just migrating from one host to another host and it's powered off, normally that goes very fast because it doesn't have to move the VMDKs or any files. It's just changing ownership of that virtual machine. And if it's powered off, it doesn't have to migrate the memory like it does with vMotion. Okay, the migration is complete. You can see it's on ESXi 02 now, and it's on data store shared 02. And so I could power it up, and it'd be running on ESXi 02. Real quickly, I want to show you how fast it is to migrate a virtual machine that's not running over to another ESXi host when it's on a shared data store. So I'm going to right click and migrate, and we're just going to change host this time. Click next. We're going to move it back over to ESXi01. Validation succeeded. Click Next. There's no data store to pick and change because we're just changing the host. So I'll go ahead and click Finish. 
and we're only going to be able to do this when it's on a shared data store, and that's it. So you can see how fast it went because it really didn't have anything to migrate over. It was just changing ownership. Now it's on PHX ESXi01.